So with the latest Power World update patch, with all this amazing new content added into the game, Pocket Pair has also included new legendary weapons as well as other legendary items for us to go out, chase, farm and use. Now today guys we check out all of these new legendaries, I will showcase you what they are, what they do and how you get these. How's it going guys, my name is DPJ and if you do enjoy this video leaving a like really helps out and if you like what you see and want to see more Power World be sure to subscribe. So there are many, many legendary items in the game right now. Before this latest content drop, there were 10 plus legendary weapons and armors alone. And where these were obtained were mostly from the Alpha World bosses found around the map. Now if you're not aware of the previous legendaries, uh, pre-patch and where these were obtained, check out this list on the screen now. Nothing has changed. These are basically Alpha World bosses, so go farm that said Alpha World boss for a chance of getting these legendaries to drop. Now, I think this is like a 3-5% to 5 drop chance, so it's not guaranteed every time. It's going to take a little bit of work from you, but you got to do what you got to do. Now, with the latest content update, people, we have seen three new legendary weapons added into the game, as well as many other legendary items. But firstly, let's check out the legendary weapons. Okay, so we have a new legendary musket, a new legendary single shot rifle, and a new legendary double barrel shotgun. Man oh man, I'm going to be farming all night for these. Now these items, I've already seen people state that they've had these drop from the sanctuary chests. The three sanctuary islands, which can be found here on the map. These small islands on the edges of the map, they're home to multiple chests. And these chests I'm hearing can drop these blueprints to these weapons, which is absolutely amazing considering how many chests are on these islands. And I think they reset after a couple of day cycles, so that's pretty cool too. Now there's plenty of chests here, so I wouldn't say the drop rates are going to be crazy here, but you got odds are a good chance of getting them there. So I don't know if I'm going to farm the alpha bosses, which these weapons also drop from, which we'll come to in a second, or if I'm just going to wait and farm Sanctuary Islands, or maybe even both people. But yeah, again, three brand new legendary weapons, so you got to do what you got to do. But people, these are not exclusive to these chests. Like I said, they also drop from world alpha bosses. So where do you get them? Well, let's check that out. So firstly, the legendary musket. While this schematic has a 3% drop chance of dropping from the Alpha World boss of Quivern found right here on the map. Man, I can't wait to get into this and farm these. I want these in my life. So yes, if the legendary musket is something you want, you want to chase, come to Quivern, farm this boss over and over, do what you gotta do, and good luck in getting this one. So the legendary single shot rifle drops from the alpha world boss of Verdash, who can be found right here on the map. This again guys only has a 3% drop chance, so you have to get really really lucky in getting this one, that is for sure. And the final weapon that was added with this content update is the legendary double barreled shotgun. And this has a 3% chance of dropping from the alpha world boss of Veilet, found right here on the map people. So pretty cool too and do what you gotta do to go and get this free brand new legendary weapons again the legendary musket drops from quivern the legendary single shot rifle drops from verdash and then we have the legendary double shotgun drops from Veilet. absolutely incredible so those were the weapons added with this update but there's also guys many other legendary items they can also find in this game that again were added with this latest patch so let's check these out also okay so first up we have the xl legendary training manual so what this does is when you use this on a pal it gives a said pal a massive amount of xp which obviously helps leveling up that pal much much quicker so where is this obtained well for me i was seeing a lot of these drop from dungeon chests so dungeons around that snow area, the volcano area and the desert area are your best bet in my opinion of getting these if you need them, if you need ways to boost your Palix P. Now I probably think these could also drop from the sanctuary chest too again, the chest found on the small islands around the edges of the map, I mean it wouldn't surprise me, I'm yet to farm these yet but I'm pretty sure they will drop from there. Okay so next up guys we have the legendary ancient technical manual. 
So what this does is upon you using it grants you ancient technology points which can come in very very useful indeed. So where can these be obtained? Well for me again I've seen a lot of these drop from those dungeon chests again around the snow, volcano and desert areas. Now these were the dungeons I was farming within these areas but they could drop from dungeon chests and anywhere on the map but like I said the harder areas in my opinion the higher leveled areas in my opinion the dungeons here know that I have a greater chance of dropping these so yes do what you gotta do if these are something you need now we also saw guys the addition of three new legendary fruits added into the game we have the power fruit the life fruit and the stout fruit so what do these do well they do as follows the power fruit when used on a pal will slightly increase said pal's attack pretty badass but what i will say is you want to use these wisely guys because they are super super rare the stat fruit when used on a pal will increase that power's defense and then we have the life fruit when this is used on a pal it will increase that pal's health but again guys these are such a rare drop uh, i'll use these very very lightly only use them on your very best pals so where do you get these from well guys as far as i'm aware they only drop from the new raid bosses this is the only place i've seen these drop now i've fought the raid boss twice now i've seen this drop once i've done all sorts of other things the alpha world bosses the legendary ones too like frost stallion necromus palladius jet dragon and i ain't seen these drop from any of them the only place i saw this drop was from indeed the new raid bosses so yes guys i'm pretty sure these may be tied to these new bosses who are not an easy battle and it takes quite a farm for you to even be able to summon these so yeah you gotta do what you gotta do but again if you come across these i'd probably save them until you're sure you have that perfect pal with that perfect ivs before you use these things okay so lastly for the new legendaries introduced with this update we have the balanor libero ultra slab and what this does is upon you using at the summoning tower summons an inconceivably powerful Balanor Libero, which sounds absolutely terrifying. I mean, the epic variant of the Balanor Libero is a brutal fight. This boss comes in at with 450,000 health. So this legendary variant will be absolutely unreal. But I'm only imagining now what it does drop. Now, again, I have one of these, but I'm going to save it until I'm absolutely certain I can fight this boss and take it down because I do not want to waste this thing. But yes guys how i got this thing was i defeated the balanor libero boss which i summoned using the epic balanor libero slabs i'm not sure this will drop from just a standard balanor raid boss i think it may need to be the balanor libero boss but yes do your testing guys and let the rest of us know what i had it drop via summoning uh, balanor libero using the epic balanor libero slabs so yes do what you gotta do people but there we have it for the new legendaries introduced with the latest content drop or power world guys if you enjoyed the video leaving a like really helps out if you like what you see and want to see more be sure to subscribe and hopefully my beauty for people i will see you on that next one